Hey everybody, this is Barry Schwartz. This is the Search Buzz video recap. Today is Friday, September 9th, and we got some news to cover over um, on search topics. And this is the news we covered over at the Search and Roundtable over the past week at seroundtable.com. The first story that I wanted to discuss was that Yahoo has let go yet another CEO, Carol Bartz. Um, she was hired, um, probably, I think, three years ago. Um, and January 2009, after taking over, over for the co-founder, Jerry Yang, who replaced Terry Semmel back in 2007 as CEO. Um, not so many people were happy with the way Carol Bar Bartz actually led the company. Um, I was personally very upset with the deal that she made with Microsoft, which was, I felt, um, a way of just cutting costs and not really um, competing in the search market. And obviously a lot of people disagree with me, especially those at Yahoo!, um, but if you take a look, a lot of the Yahoo's are left. Anyway, it's not that point. The main thing that I'm really upset about is, and now people are, a lot of people are talking about it now, but as I wrote back then, it's really just so many changes to their CEOs over the course of the years, and it makes the company look very, very weak. You need strong leadership. You need to stick with a leader. you got to find something that you'll stick with. Um, now there's lots of rumors going on of who's going to be the next leader. Is Jerry Yang going to buy out the company again? Is he going to take control? Are they going to sell the company? Are they going to find a new CEO? Are they going to get rid of the board? Lots of things going on with Yahoo right now that are up in the air. Um, anyway, uh, we have the story on September 7th at seroundtable.com. Um, and it's just sad in general. Um, more positive note, we have our September 2011 Google Webmaster Report, um, which covers pretty much an ongoing webmaster role thread, including also some of the most important topics we discussed over the past month on Google-related topics. Um, I'm not going to go through everything, but basically I'll summarize the points in the Webmaster World thread as I covered it yesterday, September 8th. Uh, one is there's more discussion around Panda and people are trying to figure out what's going on. Um, a lot of people are discussing about how subdomains may be used for, uh, for Panda uh, situations. Some questions about if there's a new Panda hit. I don't think so. Nothing new on the Panda side, I don't think. And there's also discuss discussions around the Scraper update that might be happening soon. Um, in the future. Again, there's lots and lots of discussion, links to the most important things over uh, Google Webmaster related, and if you want to take that recap and take it all in, September 8th at seroundtable.com. I'm not going to go through it all now because it's really a lot of information, which I covered in the past weeks. Um, on the, uh, one of the big things that Google made a change this week was, or last week I reported it actually, was that Google changed how they handle or classify Google Webmaster, I'm sorry, subdomains Google Webmaster tools um, in links reports. So subdomains, like I said last week, um, is now um, classified as a, as a link within the site as opposed to an external link. So then there was discussion about, you know, does this mean that Google treats different things, um, you know, not just webmaster tools, but also the algorithms and the rankings and stuff like that. So Pierre Farr from Google, uh, one of the new Googlers, said, and I'll quote, uh, Dear webmasters, a lot of people have seen the recent announcement about the recent reorganization of backlinks in webmaster tools and are saying that it's a reflection of a new way of Google handle links for ranking purposes. He said, wrong, that's not true. This changes only how, Google, how webmaster tools displays links data to help webmasters understand their links a bit better. The most common use case for this um, is for links to both the WW and non-WW version of the same site, even if those link, even if these two links, are, host names are locally, are Canocularized correctly. Sorry. Previously, what web tools considered links to each separately, and blah 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 blah. Anyway, he's saying this does not affect ranking changes. It only affects how Google reports subdomain links in the Webmaster Tools Links report. Um, that being said, who knows? Anyway, another thing that I want to discuss was that Bing has renewed their deal with Twitter, um, which is something uh, done something fairly weird. I mean, they did it over Twitter. It was pretty funny. So Twitter, uh, Bing went in and said, hey, Twitter. And Bing replied on Twitter saying, what's up, you know? And then Twitter says, been thinking about our last two years together, blah, blah, blah. And then basically they renewed their deal over Twitter via a conversation over Twitter. Um, the main thing is Google still doesn't have a deal with Twitter. It upsets me. I used to love use Google, Google's Google real-time search, specifically because of Twitter and their filters for that. Bing's filtering features, in my uh, uh, interpretation is limited in terms of their real-time search. Obviously Google has Google+, Plus, which makes the whole thing with Twitter complicated, but Bing is really dominating our real-time search by having a partnership with Twitter and having a partnership with Facebook, both of which Google does not have. Um, we'll see what happens over the years, but it will be interesting to see how that, that plays out. Um, another interesting Bing-related is that 
uh, Eric Eng went ahead and did an excellent interview with uh, Bing's Dwayne Forrester. Uh, Bing, uh, and the key takeaways from this that I took, but you should definitely read the whole interview. We have links to it on September 8th at SEOroundtable.com. Was that one, um, in terms of ranking and what pro, what's, a, what's a priority for Bing is, one is obviously content, but two is social media, and then three is links. So content, social media, links. Con uh, social media is more important for ranking purposes, according to Dwayne Forrester, than links, which is very interesting. Another point he said was the, the huge weight placed by Bing on user interaction within the search results as a ranking factor. How users actually interact, I guess, maybe click-through data um, is a factor. Another point is that Bing is relying more and more on RSS feeds um, for kind of finding and discovering new content, which reduces their cost in terms of discovery. And Bing is also uh, has a very low threshold for bugs and sitemaps, specifically a 1% allowance for dirt and sitemap search, such as links leading to 404 pages and so on. So definitely take a look at that interview. It's fairly interesting. It's September 8th at saroundtable.com. Um, Google has fixed a, or is working on a fix, I'm not sure if they fixed it yet, of a webmaster tools delay, um, reporting delay. Um, so if you were looking at the impression reports and stuff like that, um, it stopped as of the 28th or 29th of August. Uh, we reported this on September 7th. Um, some people are saying the issue is now resolved. Google is aware of it, and they said they will resolve it. I haven't checked yet, but I believe by now it probably is resolved. Um, so no, don't worry. Um, Google on the AdWords side has increased the number of, I guess, types of site links you could have within the AdWords listings. There's three-line or two-line formats. There are one-line formats. There are embedded formats, and it goes through the different. Uh, there's a FAQ section that goes through the different types of formats and how you achieve them. If you were interested in getting site links in your AdWords and you want to know about different formats and stuff like that, take a look at September 7th at SEOroundtable.com. Google has been testing AdWords site links since 2009. They've been trying different formats since then, um, but that's what's going on. Um, Google is testing removing the icons on the left-hand side of the Google search filter bar. Um, I'll show you a picture. It'll make it crystal clear. Uh, but the icons in terms of Google image search and Google videos and stuff like that have been on the left-hand side of the Google filter results since 2009 with the Jazz update and stayed there forever, and Google's now testing removing that, just the icons themselves. Um, so it's fairly interesting to see if they want to remove it. I personally become accustomed to it. Some people want to see it gone. I personally do not care either way, but I, I've become accustomed to it. Google promises faster DMCA, DMCA takedowns. Um, so if somebody has um, copied your content, they will act within 24 hours on the web search and blogger side, they said. Um, they also said blocking piracy-related terms for sh from showing up in the Google autocomplete has also become a priority. Google will also improve their AdSense anti-piracy review, and Google will also improve the visibility of the auth authorized preview content in the search results. Um, some overall uh, Google political stuff going on, um, and the DMCA thing is um, pretty significant, 24 hours promised reviews. Google has bought yesterday, last night, or will be acquiring Zagat, which has been basically known for their 30 plus years of doing uh, restaurant reviews and all these types of reviews. Um, they were that little book that everybody carried around in their hands to see which restaurant they should go to when they travel. Um, obviously, with all the mobile apps out there, a lot of that stuff has, their you know, company has obviously taken a hit on that. But Google bought them because Google thinks that their reviews and their ways of ranking and reviewing uh, different restaurants and hotels and stuff like that is um, is extraordinary and they have experiences that nobody else has. So they bought them, um, they didn't disclose how much they bought them, and they will be using them in their local and search results in the future. Exactly how they haven't described, but I guess you and I can imagine how. Um, Google is holding an event next week on September 13th and 14th uh, for for the top contributors, people who are in the Google forums labeled as top contributors. Um, they're flying everybody into California uh, for a two-day top contributor summit, a global top contributor summit where they're gonna go through uh, one day in Santa Clara and the Marriott, going through different you know things on the agenda and then going to the Googleplex to talk to different people. Um, they will meet uh, guides, engineers, product managers, and so on to get to know each other. And um, it's basically their way of saying thank you for all the hard work they've been doing over the course of the years. Um, this coincides with XMX next week, which I'll be at. Um, not that I was invited, I'm not a top contributor, I wasn't invited to this, but it's definitely, I think it's pretty cool that Google's um, doing that. 
Um, here's the dumb moment of the week. Um, some, it was pretty funny. Somebody posted in the Google Webmaster help forum saying, my site's not showing in Google. What should I do? What happened? Why am I no longer showing up in Google? The thing was, this person actually and did it himself, was used the Google Webmaster Tools removal tool to remove his entire site. Um, and his reasoning was, and I'll, I'll quote the webmaster, yes, I removed the entire site because Google's content was outdated, but I thought new content would come back by submitting the site to Google. Obviously, I was wrong. Um, I felt bad. I gave a link to the guy. His content is coming back into the Google index, um, but it was just funny to see somebody say, oh, the content's outdated. I'm going to remove my whole site instead of waiting for Google to actually index the new content over time. And finally, there were um, some logos this week. Um, um, the big logos this week were it was for Freddie Mercury from Queen, the lead singer, um, who passed away um, from bronchitis due to HIV. He was very well known for HIV awareness. He was born on September, I think, 5th, 1946. The Google logo was not on September 5th because of Labor Day. They postponed it on the Google US at least uh, one day to September 6th because they wanted to respect Labor Day by putting a Labor Day flag. Uh, while Bing and, and other places also had Labor Day themes, um, Google um, post had a Labor Day flag on the bottom of the search results, nothing major, and then put up this interactive, really nice logo for uh, Freddie Mercury. Um, okay, so I think that pretty much recaps the Search Buzz video recap. Today, again, is September 9th. My name, again, is Barry Schwartz. This is the search news we covered over at the Search and Roundtable over the past week. And we have lots more videos for you guys to watch. And thanks so much for listening every week. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Have a great weekend. Bye.